Patients across the country are demanding more control of their medical care, and a very special group of physicians is leading the charge. Patients are fed up. They're tired of being herded into health care through work, all while their employers get the big tax breaks. Surveys show people want more choice, not government interference and HMOs pushing one-size-fits-all medical care. There's no such thing as one-size-fits-all in health care. Individuals are different. They have different needs. They have different preferences. Analysts like Naomi say changes are needed to save people money and make medical care better. They say as long as patients are stuck with health plans from their employers, costs will continue to go up and quality will continue to go down. They say patients should be free to hire and fire their health plan, and what it would take for that to happen is for the government to give individuals and families the tax deduction for health care premiums and care that is reserved only for employers now. What we need to do is have the person receiving care involved in, the, in paying for the care so that they can demand the type of care that they want. And it's not just patients who are getting a bad deal. Doctors say they're feeling the pinch and it's getting tougher to do a good job. Because reimbursements for treatments are so low under those programs that some people may actually be getting inferior care. But money isn't the biggest issue for doctors. We began to see changes uh, where the insurance companies began to interfere, managed care companies became uh, prominent, uh, and Medicare uh, and the bureaucracy with the CPT codes, uh, criminalization of medicine, fraud and abuse uh, threats. Some doctors say they face prosecution if they refuse to follow the government rules that are sometimes in direct conflict with what's best for their patients. And the system ruins doctors even if they haven't done anything wrong. We have a very troubling system because it does a couple of things. Number one, it determines and often considers doctors guilty until proven innocent. It made me look like a crook in the eyes of my patient. And more importantly, from the patient's standpoint, it destroyed a lot of the trust that my patients had placed in me. But hold on, warned some. Things will only get worse unless patients and doctors start working together. That's where the doctors group comes in. Doctors Huntoon and Schiller are members of the Association of American Physicians and Surgeons, or AAPS, and say it's the only physician group that's really watching out for patients. Other medical organizations are fighting over who should be in control, the doctors or the insurance companies. AAPS has the right answer to that question. The patient should have the power. The patient should be in control. The patient is at the center of the universe and is what medicine is all about. Dr. Orient says that what that means is that an APS doctor works for you, not your insurance company, your HMO, or if Medicare or Medicaid is paying the bills, not the government. AAPS was started back in 1943, and founders say to be the conscience of the American Medical Association. From the start, AAPS refused to take special interest money with strings attached, unlike some of the other big medical groups that are actually financed to the tune of millions by special interests at the expense of patients. Other professional groups, they do what's convenient. They do what they can uh, to keep their power, to keep their members. For example, the AMA recently supported a version of the Patient's Bill of Rights that gives trial lawyers multi-million dollar paydays. Now, AAPS opposed that, and for good reason, according to a national radio talk show host, Michael Medved, who spoke at a recent AAPS meeting. In, fact, in, in that divide uh, that seems to exist in this society between physicians, or at least those physicians who want to actually practice medicine, and the legal profession, uh, my sympathies are 100% on the side of people who want to heal me as opposed to the side of people who want to sue me. Um, APS says me things will only get worse if we continue to move to socialized medicine like they have in England or Canada. I think we'd already have socialized medicine if it were not for apps. Other positions taken by AAPS include suing the government to stop new federal rules that will wipe out your privacy, opposing school-based treatment without parental approval, and getting Congress to approve more freedom for Medicare patients. AAPS supports medical savings accounts that work like an IRA and give patients total control of their medical dollars. It basically involves taking what would otherwise go to an insurance company, let's say $5,000, Instead of, of an insurance policy that would cover everything, 
you then buy a major medical policy, basically catastrophic insurance with a high deductible, let's say that would cost perhaps $2,000. Then the remaining amount of money that would have otherwise been spent on the insurance is then put into a tax deductible medical savings account, which can be uh, kept year after year and pay for small and expected medical bills. Dr. Orient says here's what patients can do to make some changes. First, support laws that give you, not your employer, full deductibility. Second, consider opening an MSA. And third, shop for your medical care. You'll find that many doctors will negotiate their fees if they don't have to file your insurance claim for you. And AAPS can help you. Sign up for action alerts and a free copy of the patient's handbook. Ask your doctor or check out the AAPS website at www.aapsonline.org or call AAPS at 800-419-4777. The Association of American Physicians and Surgeons says that if patients want to start saving money on health care and at the same time keep the government and HMO bureaucrats and lawyers out of the examining room and the medicine cabinet, they'll have to start fighting back. And, they say, their doctors will be there to lead the fight. Catherine Sirks reporting for AAPS News.